Welcome everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today I'm going to be demonstrating using tech to win with OBDX Pro tools. So basically tech to win is General Motors dealership grade diagnostic software. It's what they use from 2012 and older uh, vehicles to see live data and all the different modules of the car. So today we're going to be connecting up to a 2004 Holden VY Commodore and we're going to be looking at the engine computer, so the LS1 V8 Gen 3s. That's simply because our, the OBDX Pro VT can communicate to this, this computer. Uh, the other computers of the car use a different language, but future tools will be able to support those. Uh, for a lot of the USA uh, trucks, they use uh, VPW, so they'll be able to actually communicate to multiple modules in the car, including body control modules, radios, BCMs, ABSs, etc. Uh, but for the Commodore here, we have the end computer on the bench set up here. So we're going to go have a look at some live data. So we have two options here, engine data and fuel trim. So we'll go ahead to the engine data first. All of the data here will look a bit funny simply because again, we're on a bench setup. So we'll get some negative 39 degrees options because well, there's no sensors attached. But we do see that it is looking for the desired idle speed of 850. Uh, but there's quite a few sensors in here. There's uh, 50 of them currently and keeps going through. This is again what they use at the dealerships for actual diagnosing the cars. Let's go ahead and go back. We also have our next page, the fuel trim data. We've got to see some oxygen sensor readings and bits and pieces like that. There is some double up on the sensors. You can see here, so desired old speed again pops up. It keeps going through. Yeah, you got some O2 sensor readings there. Again, going to be funny values and going to be fluctuating even though we're on a bench setup just because it's loose wiring. And what else we got in here? We also have miscellaneous tests. So you can control different options of the ECU and function tests. And also our diagnostic trouble codes, although this ECU is not going to be showing any. Uh, but that's the demonstration for today. Uh, we're very excited about it simply because this is dealership grade software that's available using our affordable uh, diagnostic tools, which realistically only a few uh, companies on the planet uh, support using with tech to win So really exciting times and we can't wait to be releasing this to you guys. Uh, but any questions, please feel free to comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.